Hello and welcome to Coaster Gents and a big happy 40th birthday to Alton Towers. In this video we'll be sharing all our favourite memories from Alton Towers and loads more memories from other people. We'll say what's been good about the park and what's happened in the park over the last 40 years. And then also what we changed in the, in the near future. So Alton Towers currently isn't open and today we would have done a very special vlog at the park um, for the 40th birthday because it was yesterday, Saturday and yeah, let's get into the video So here's the logo for the 40th birthday Now this iconic park in 1980 the Corks Grove Now this iconic roller coaster that you'll see on the plaza made Alton Towers a theme park, followed by the flu in 1991. Next came the black hole, if you accept to where the smiler is, and then followed by the Canyon in 1992. Then followed by Gloomy Wood and the original haunted house, and then Thunder Valley, which was where the Thunder Looper is. Then, obviously, in 1994, we had the iconic Nemesis, which is still at the park today, designed by John Wardley. And then, in 1996, we had the first on site accommodation at the resort, followed by many more, including Splash Landings, Enchanted Village, CBBs, and Stargazing Pods. In 1998, we saw Oblivion come to the park, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. It's not even vertical. Then, in 2002, we had Air, which was recently re themed in 2016 to Galactica. Then, over the years, we've had many different lands come to the resort, but in 2010, we had the addition of the third theme. Now, this was the world's first free 40 roller coaster. 2013, we saw the removal of the black hole and the addition of the Smiler, the world's first 40 roller coaster. Then, in 2018, we had the newest addition to the resort, which was Woodman, GCI wooden roller coaster. So, my favourite ride at the park by far is the Wickerman. This was the new GCI wooden roller coaster in 2018, which replaced the Flume. I absolutely love this coaster because it combines thrill and family and just it's just the best ride there. Now, what would I change the car? I would get rid of Rita. I think that's the weakest coach that would and it wasn't so good. And I do some sort of Rita coach there because I think Rita is a really good coaster. So why do I go to Warren Towers? Warren Towers is like whole bad world and just has an absolutely amazing day and I always have so much fun. I'm always there with friends and family and I'll treasure every single day there. And while it's closed, as soon as we get back, I'll treasure it even more. So, what's your favourite memory from Alton Towers, Jeremy? When I first stayed in the hotel. Why? Good. Good. Tell a little story. Uh, we went there. Oh, we went there on with like loads of people, and it was really fun. And, then, and our parents like sat down doing drink, and then we went off and played in the garden at the hotel. Yeah, for my birthday, Jennifer's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What would you change at the park? Get rid of the dungeons. Why? Because dungeons are terrible. Why the the sand and low traction that they don't deserve to be in a theme park? Okay, well, what would you put there then, so that it's not a dead space? Anything. Or would you would you rather get rid of it or make it free? Get rid of it. You'll <laughs> get rid of it. But okay, don't so deserve what, to be. In why do you towers? like Alton Towers? I like Alton Towers because it has rides. <laughs> no, you got to say something else. Why do you like Alton Towers? Because it has. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Happy birthday, Autumn Towers. My favourite memory 
was when I went with my friends and it was proper empty, it just rained so everyone had left the car and I went on Nemesis so many times, I can't remember how many times I went upside down. My favourite memory of Alton Towers was doing Rick and Man in the Dark. My favourite memory of Alton Towers is when I went to Slash Engines for my birthday. My favourite memory of Alton Towers was going to the roller coaster restaurant because my food coming down was just so amazing and my favourite ride by far was the Wicker Man because it was just so cool. My favourite memory from Alton Towers would probably be when me, Jensen and Alice were in some species and we managed to complete it because it was pretty scary and I was very awesome. Um, my my favourite Alton Towers memory so we were going to Scarefest yeah. and um, Jensen brought. Um, when was this last year or years ago? Um, Jensen brought fast passes for Smiler and I've never been on it, I was really nervous. Yeah. And we got there and didn't really want to go on it, I was that scared. And um, we were in the line and I was proper nervous. Yeah. And then. Um, uh, we, we got on the road and it broke down, so I was, I was rather happy. Uh, what, then, actually, on, you sat on the road or just... No, we didn't go? start, we just... It, no, we sat, we were about to go on and then yeah. it just stopped. Oh, what and a big then, announcement saying it's all broke yeah. and you had to get off. So then... Um, oh, that was luckier than you yeah, thought. Yeah, And then, um, we carried on the day, but then the next time we went, he brought fast passes again. Oh, no! I was a bit more excited and confident, so... I went, and then we went, and I went on, and that's my favourite ride. Oh, but did you, I thought you was going to say it broke down again, or no, you no. was hoping it would break down again? No, I was actually no. alright. Okay, brilliant. Um, What's your stars? My favourite memory was, I think it was 2018, yeah, yep. um, and we, we we went to Scare Fest with my mum, Charlie, Jensen and Jamie. And um, we went into the House of Monsters, which is now Gangster Granny the Ride. Yeah. And I was a bit scared because I've never been on it or like been done yeah. it before. And, and then, um, Apprehensive, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like my first scare night. Um, so I went on, and at the start it was it was alright. It was getting better, yeah, and I because... felt more confident with it. And then it was at the end, and I was like, yes, it's the end now. Yeah. I'm not going to get scared anymore. So we was on the way out through the exit, and there was like these black curtains next to us, and there was the um, and there was like picture frames. Oh, right. So, so like, we was walking down. And I was like, oh, thank God that's over. But then next thing you know, these the people with the mats pulled down like the <laughs> curtains and started running. And oh, the <laughs> I was leaning up a picture frame, and they literally pulled it, it down. Was, it was really scary. What you run out screaming? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. This is. Uh, I think it was October 2003, and me and Dan had gone to Scarefest. I don't think it was called Scarefest then, it was Halloween Spooktacular. And we'd gone with um, Coaster Jensen's dad and Coaster Jensen's mom. And it was one of the first scare mazes that we'd ever been in. And it was called Terror of the Towers, I think. Um, so we all said, yeah, come on, we've got to do it. And for some reason, Coaster Mom was backing out and she was like, I I'm not going to go on it. I was like, what's the matter? It's not like you. You normally go on every anything. She was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to go on this one. And her and Coaster Dad had a bit of a chat and I was like, some of fish is going on here. Anyway, we carried on. I thought, it's not like Sharon to chicken out. We did the maze and it was really scary. It was brilliant atmosphere, the smells, we were absolutely petrified, we all came out shaking, said to Sharon, you've got to do it, it's brilliant, you've got to do it, she was like, no, 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 and I saw Coaster Dad and Coaster Mom walking off, having a little chat, and then it suddenly dawned on me, when I read the restrictions on the way in, there was a few things, epilepsy, I thought Sharon's not epileptic, and then it said, if you're pregnant, and then it then it clicked, and that was when I knew that Coaster Gents was on his way, and Sharon was pregnant. And sure enough, nine months later, Coaster Gents appeared. Okay, I've got millions of good memories from Octos, thousands, but my most memorable are really from when I was a kid, when I read the Black, black Hole. So that was an awesome ride, it's pretty much the same as Charlie. I was real scared about going on there. It was all in the dark, everyone said it was horrific. I went to go on, queued up, 
went on, scared to death, and yeah, it was absolutely awesome. Yeah, fabulous ride. And there I am, and there's my friend Nathan, and there's some other goons from there. Right, the other one was uh, the Beast. That was out, that's gone now. That's over near David Williams World. There was the Beast. There was the Mouse, but it's completely disappeared. That at Landers, and this was in. That's uh, me. That's my friend Nate and Richard. And there's the date. Look, I wrote it in. 89, August 89. So that must have been in the six weeks. 89. So I was 14. 14. How old was I? 14, 15. And the other one, which is still there now, same date, Grand Canyon Rapids, August the 24th, 89. There I am. There's Nath, there's his cousin Richard, Claire Challoner, I can't remember these girls' names now, but we had a right laugh. Yeah, that was it, they're my good memories, along with all the ones that we've had with the kids and the BT day, where we specifically uh, rented out to the BT um, customers, and it was just the BT staff that was there. That was a fabulous day. Um, yeah, millions of memories, but those are my favourites. <laughs> right, my favourite memory before you, was, uh, that was the fireworks, when they first did the fireworks. So they used to do them for a week, but, uh, to the residents, uh, they had a bit of a court battle and, and uh, they stopped the fireworks actually, I believe, for a year or two until uh, they obviously pushed court and got a couple of dates now. I don't know, is it two days I think now? That, that three days that they do now. It used to be a week or more. Um, but anyway, when we used to do that, we went to the Nemesis, it was packed in them days. And it was dark and the atmosphere at night was dark. And at the Nemesis queue, which they, I've, I've seen it, but you don't show it now, the queue used to go right up to the top of the hill and across the top on the, on one of the, on the bend, you know, where the, the red water is. And it used to go all the way to the top and all the way back down, but now they've boarded that off. You can still see the line, I think, but it's not there. So we used to queue all up there for hours, but when there was a big gang of us, which there was, we had some friends from Cornwall and that with us, and um, we had a cracking time, actually, in that queue. So Thunderlooper was a good one as well, although it wasn't worth the queue, really, if the queue was big. I, I did like the Thunderlooper, but, and I think the one that sticks out was the Mad Mouse, I don't know what it was called now. Alton Mouse. The Alton Mouse, yeah, which was behind what was the 4D theatre. You can't get in that area anymore, but they had the mouse in there. They had an accident, I think, on it, uh, and that's why they got rid of it. And it looked like they got rid of that whole area as well. But they were the best, um, they were the best times, really. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like it now, a lot. Yeah, it's come on a lot. What do you like about it now? Wicker Man's a fantastic ride, isn't it? Yeah. Um, when they put the Haunted Mansion in, that was good as well. It was that area, it was like creepy around that area anyway. With the, the original of... Haunted House. Yeah, did yeah. Did you prefer it with the guns or not? Uh, they used to have one where, where the Alton Dungeon is now. And it was, what was it called before? Around the Day and Days and Toyland Falls. Yeah, well, around the, yeah well, they had Doom and Sons there then. It was like a walk round one, which was, <laughs> that was good. They used to have like a walk round one as well, near what was the log flume uh, now, which is uh, Wicker Man. There used to be like a steamboat that used to move, a bit like Blackpool Pleasure Beach, when, with that, uh, the arc, and used to go in and all the, you know, the feet had go up and down and all that sort of stuff. It was good, really. They were old stuff. Really. My favourite memory from the park, I have many, many memories. I loved, I love every single year at Scarefest. This year, well, 2019, I love going with all my friends. The year before it was my first scare maze and it was the welcoming and I absolutely loved it. And I don't think I've ever had so much fun. It was so much fun in that scare maze. And we went with Charlie and Darcy and went in House of Monsters and everything. It's jammed to be on the camera being stupid, so that's why I'm laughing. And yeah, we went in House of Monsters and it was just really, really, really good. Um, I love going in the hotel, like Jamie said, because we got we used to go every year for my birthday. And we used to go with loads of people and just have so much fun. So when we went in the hotels, it was when I first went on Smiler, Oblivion, Galactica, Nemesis, Rita, all the 1.4 rides, 
as you can see here in the pictures, I was so happy because as when I went to Walton Towers, I was never tall enough to go to the go on these rides. So when we went for my birthday, I was so happy that we're finally tall enough to go on these rides. Um, another memory was watching the Smiler being built and just. I was a massive fan of the Smiler before it was even fully built. I had nearly all the merchandise because my dad was working there during it so he could get me all the merchandise and stuff. I was really pay for it. But um, it, I just loved it and I can, could not wait to get on it. Another memory which I really, really liked was all my activity days with school. I really enjoyed all them. And probably the main memory from the Towers that I have was the first ever time I went and the first ride I went on was Spinball Wizard, which is 16 this year, same age as me. We were both born in 2004. And that's my first ride, and that's my first time at Alton Towers, and I'll always remember it. So that's it, that's our video. Happy 40th birthday to Alton Towers. We will be there as soon as it opens, and I cannot wait for the day when it opens. Thank you for watching, make sure you like, share and subscribe, once you've subscribed make sure you click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video and um, that's a wrap. Hi, subscribe to Coaster Jones.